Hey guys, Shea Bear 1000 here today. Almost forgot my name. <laughs> ah, it's still a little vlogging for you. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this cover off this boat. I think there's a couple uh, a couple rivets. This is an aluminum boat again, and it's put together with rivets. Uh, this thing is almost 52 years old, so it's got a couple little leaks. Nothing major. Just when you're out on the boat, say for four hours, there is a little bit of water. Um, not much, probably maybe a pint. And I was looking, I think it's coming in from the front. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use some caulking, seal it up. But I'm going to flood the boat first, okay? I'm going to fill it up with water and see where it's coming from i'm going to mark the holes i'm going to seal it up and i'll use some of that uh that flex seal too and put on it and um but you gotta let that stuff set 24 to 48 hours i don't think we're gonna have the boat out for the next couple days because i know she's at work today and she's got to work tomorrow so we might not get the boat out tomorrow so it should give me plenty of enough time hopefully it don't rain but at least i'll know where where it's leaking at i think i think it's probably just a rivet because it's it's just so minimal i normally wouldn't worry about it but we take bruno out on the boat and i don't want him drinking that old nasty water you know that may come in there so i'm just going to set you down here and i'll talk to you while i'm doing this um but like i said I'm just gonna flood it that's how we always check these things just uh fill it up with water man and look underneath it for any water coming out you got it running pretty good it seemed a little sluggish the other night when we had it out but there's a cam roller. I know you boat, boat guys will know what I'm talking about. Just a little tiny roller that goes on this cam. And when you turn the throttle, it turns the timing plate or the cam plate, whatever. And it rolls on that roller. It rolls that roller, which opens up the throttle. It, well, that little, that little roller came off. And it wasn't opening wide open. So, But anyway, the motor is running good. The boat's going very well, and we're very happy with it. So, this is a custom cover for this boat. We didn't have it made, but somebody did. It is not waterproof. But, you know, it mainly keeps the leaves out. That's all we care about. Because it does have a bung plug in the back, so I'm not worried about water getting in it. Nothing can hurt the water inside. We just want to keep all these leaves and stuff out of it. So what I'm going to do, this is just to keep the, these are just to keep the top you know that cover to keep it so the water runs off more because if you don't I left it overnight the other day without the cover on and as you can see all the leaves that's what I hate that stuff's the hardest stuff to get out man you gotta you gotta hose it down to the back then you gotta scrape them out it's a pain really What we're going to do, 
Is make sure I don't have anything that's going to get get wet that I don't want it to. We take our life vests out. <laughs> Bought monkey this knife <laughs> several years ago when we had the other boat. She's never had to use it, but just in case, she says. So, all right, this is Bruno's little life jacket. Looks like a little shark. <laughs> it's cute. Okay, so, we got all this stuff here. We also have an extra one. There's a seat cushion, but it also doubles as a floater. Uh, I don't know what this stuff is. I don't know what these were for. This is this was for a light. I don't know what this stuff is. But it's time for it to come out. So I got some blocks on the front of the boat trailer. Because this ain't the right trailer for it. And the pivot points right here at the wheels. So and you got this big motor standing back here. Well, it's not a big motor, but you know, it's got some weight to it hanging off the back there. So if you don't have some weight there, the boat goes up. So I'm going to try to get some of these leaves out of here and um, I'm going to flood the boat. Bummer. R.O.'d. Rained on. <laughs> okay, so next week, you're going to take this, uh, this ring doorbell actually picks up that whole truck and almost the golf cart so what I'm going to do I'm going to take one of them cameras up there on the corner where you at right there boom right there I'm going to put it on this corner and face it this way so I can get that and we'll take now I might leave the other one there because it really doesn't they really don't pick up much because of this now but the ring doorbell does so the other one I think I'll point it back that way and then I've got a couple more I'm gonna put one in the house in the kitchen I'm going to put one on the back corner of the house back here in the backyard because um, sometimes we got motion light see this used to be a motion light here but remember I had to take that out because it quit working uh, but sometimes monkey will come out at night and see the the, um, the backyard light on and it kind of makes her a little nervous so I go out and check. It's usually just an animal, like a uh, probably it's probably the uh, armadillos we got back there. So it's probably that, or you know, uh, a lizard or tree frog will will get across the sensor or a big moth, and it'll kick it on. Uh, last night I was fishing. I'll throw a couple of them clips in here. Um, because I went out two days and only caught two fish, one each day. I'll throw them in. But there was a lizard. We, we was coming back and we got a, uh, and I'm only, I was only like five miles up the road here at the river. We was coming back and something on the camera. And we got a notification. Our, our alarms went off and we kicked on, well I kicked on my phone, she was driving. There was a lizard, or not a lizard, a tree frog. A little tree frog hopping on there, kicking that thing on, so.
anyway that's so stay tuned for next week i'll bring you along when i move the cameras around and stuff because like i said this ring really i mean it actually goes over to about right there kind of picks up the whole corvette and it does pick up pretty much probably 80 or 90 percent of that truck so i'm, I'm good with that because and if anything comes in here um you know walking human it will sound an alarm so all right well i'm kind of rained on today i'm gonna go and put them straps back on i did find one one um see those are riveted together and they got rubber seals in there and stuff but on the front seat i found one rivet leaking and that's all i found on the whole boat so i went ahead and used that uh well i threw it away the um flex seal over top of a lot of it i sealed some of that up uh anything you know i sanded it and anything that looked like it could be a potential leak i went ahead and shot it with that uh, i'm gonna get some more of that stuff and i'll probably just do the hole underneath all the rivets and stuff i'm not worried about the sides too much they look great but um they're going to be painted anyway we're just going to paint the whole thing uh, same color or real close to that color blue we we kind of like it. it looks cute um, so i did get a little overspray on the bunks you know the black parts down underneath that the boat sits on i'm not worried about that because we're not going to have that trailer as long as we have the boat that's for sure i do not like that trailer it doesn't fit it it's hard to back so anyway let's go in the house and we'll go in the garage and find something to chit chat about You guys keeping these fish? No. Yeah. We just thought we'd make a better couple of results down here than we do down the road. Catfish.
so I think I'm going to wrap this one up right here. Um, got the fan blowing on me. It's still hot. It's really hot. What is it anyway? It is. Get my glasses on, I'll tell you. 84 with a real feel, 97, and it's raining. So, but I'm going to call it right there. Hope you enjoyed the couple fishing clips. Um, but my <laughs> monkey's messaging my my uh, workbench here is a total wreck man and uh, also I forgot to tell you I do have a yard sale find video coming up uh, I may get to that today since it's raining also I haven't been doing much on the late night thing because it seems like I get about 18 20 views and that's it if you guys want me to keep doing some I'll do them but I'm just not going to do it every week. It's just like, you know, and now everybody's doing them. You know, big time YouTubers now that that never did it before. Now at once they're doing 2 a.m. stuff, you know. I'm, I'm out in the garage. They make sure they let it known that they're out in the garage really late. But, so, but I do have one. I don't know if I'm just going to do it as a, as how to or trying to fix video or if I'm going to do it as a late night but it's also in with the um, the yard sale find well it's one of the yard sale finds I'll do a yard sale find and also I got a free stuff we're going to check uh, we're going to check out the free stuff that I got and so like I said fishing's been better but I, last night I figured it'd be a lot better than it was but I did catch that one fish and then the day before I caught that one but um, you know we need to get out on the boat and hell if it's raining like that you know don't want to be out on the boat when it's raining you know your feet's going to get wet and you know again it's pouring it's pouring right now so uh, but stay tuned for more fishing um, I'm gonna you know all I'm doing right now is kind of scoping out different places I'll get get out on the boat and get back in into the river and we'll find some catfishing holes there. I'm not doing the bass fishing thing. Too many people are doing that. You know, I mean that's you know, I'm not Bill Dance, you know what I mean? I'm not I'm not a bass fisherman, never was keen on it. I have bass fished, I've caught my share of bass, but you know, I like the big fish that really fight and uh so that's why I uh, like catfishing and down here we got the gar I think it's alligator gar anyway I know we got gar we got mud fish they're fighting fish um, so I'm gonna try out some different baits we've just been using eye crawlers because I usually like to use when I'm catfishing I like to use uh, chicken lovers but there's all different kinds of stuff they use down here for different fish but you know a catfish will pretty much hit on anything um, that's meat wise so you know I mean I caught a catfish one time on a spinner when I was bass fishing that was a fluke because usually they like meat meaty stuff live well not even live but dead because they're bottom feeders but man they put up a good fight so I'm gonna get off here I'm gonna edit this video for you I may do some more filming I may have another video following this one today or tomorrow I'm not sure uh, I may do some fishing tomorrow I don't know but it's gonna be a couple days before we get the boat out again so hopefully it's raining now but but the stuff I put on it was all all on the bottom so hopefully it doesn't run down there too bad if it does I'll just have to redo it but like I said there was only one rivet that was leaking when I flooded the boat I was going to show you but I got into it and then it started raining uh, what I did was I, I tilted it down forward and so I filled like the front cavity up you know like half the boat up and then I did see one drip and that's about how much was coming in you know you can tell how much is coming in your boat uh, you know it was like drip 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 and it was one one rivet where the seat the seat mounts go down in one rivet on it so I think I got it and then I, I, I leveled it out real level checked for more leaks and then I stood it straight up checked for leaks in the back I see no leaks back there he said he thought the uh, 
the plug was leaking a little bit but I think what it was doing was it was just rolling back you know I mean some people you know it's just common sense but some people don't think they just think well it's wet back there it's got to be that plug wasn't a plug though what I don't like about it as I may do away with sometimes is the plugs right in the bottom in the in the very back but it's in the bottom and I don't like that because uh, if, if you get too long of a plug and you're coming up in the shore because those boats are made just to run right up on the beach just to beach them and you know it'll wiggle that plug and you can see it's, the holes kind of bent but the, I didn't see any leaks around it so I may change that and I may just you know plug that hole up permanent and then put it straight out the back where it should be um, we'll just have to see but that may be a wooden transom that might be why they didn't do it I don't know but anyway that's future stuff so uh, this winter probably January I'm going to take a weekend I'm going to go over the uh, lower unit and make sure they did put a new uh, a new impeller in it it is pumping good it's pissing like it's supposed to so but you know I want to make sure the new seals in it because I, I read on that one work order that he gave me that uh, something about the output shaft in the lower unit was pitted now why they didn't change it after already having him at six hundred dollars I don't know why they didn't go ahead and change the output shaft for thirty more dollars when they put new seals on they said they cleaned it up with emery cloth so I don't know but we're gonna take that apart and find out and reverse you gotta hold it in reverse if you don't hold it it's alright idling but then if you go to give it a little bit of gas to back up it wants to pop out so that's gonna need adjusted which that'll be adjusted when I take the lower unit off and just go over it I think the engine's gonna be fine I don't think I have to do anything to it I may clean the carburetor you know just for the hell of it I don't know but it seems like the carburetor's running fine so anyway that's that's it in a nutshell sorry wasn't too too much interesting stuff but at least we got to chit chat and you got to see some funny footage so <laughs> anyway guys thanks for watching appreciate it Shea Bear, Myth the Man Legend gone for now bye bye guys we'll see you soon don't forget to comment rate subscribe share these videos and we'll chat soon bye bye